So anyone else who would have as much thrown at them as Trump would probably be on the struggle bus right now. <laughs> um, but at he really seems like invincible in a lot of ways. So can you tell us how is he doing and how is he getting through day by day with all of the stuff coming against him? I, I can't even tell you how impressed I am with this man on a daily basis. He's my father-in-law. And obviously that, that is, um, he holds a very dear place in my heart, but as just a human being, I don't know anyone who could not just survive the things that he's gone through, but be thriving and really still be fighting and still be willing to take more because you know there's gonna be more coming his way. He truly is, has this incredible ability, I think, to distance himself from things like this and really focus on the things that matter. And I gotta be honest, I've never seen him more focused on anything than he is right now on winning this election. Um, I, I give him so much credit because I know that most people wouldn't, wouldn't be able to take it, but I think it is those moments, you know, with his grandkids, with, with our children that continue to inspire him to want to go on because he knows, and he said himself, this isn't about me. This is so much bigger than him. It's so much bigger than our family. This is about the future of this country and really the future of the world. And he wants a world where his grandchildren get to live in the same great America that he got to grow up in. And I think it, that sort of thing continues to inspire him, but I, I give him so much credit for the fight he has in him. He will never quit, he'll never back down no matter what they decide to do to him. Um, he's really a miraculous human being.